Basic Statistics Introduction to Statistics This PowerPoint presentation gives a brief introduction to basic statistics. So what is statistics? Statistics is the area of mathematics that is involved in the collection, summary, classification, and presentation of data and generalization of conclusions based on the data. Statistics can be further broken down to two branches, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics is a collection of methods used to collect, summarize, classify, and present data. In this class, we will cover basic descriptive statistics, such as finding the means and standard deviations. The other branch of statistics is called inferential statistics. Inferential statistics is the collection of methods used to analyze and draw conclusions about the population based on collected data. This branch of statistics goes beyond collecting and presenting data. Inferential statistics uses the descriptive statistics obtained from the data and draws conclusions based on laws of probability and statistics. Because this is an advanced topic and requires background of more math and probability, we will not cover the statistics of inference in this course. Some more terms to know are population versus sample. A population is a complete set of data that is being studied. But often it's unrealistic to study the whole population, so we study a smaller subset. This is called the sample. An example of population would be studying all babies born in a particular hospital in a particular year. A sample taken from that population could be the babies born in a particular month. A couple of other important terms refer to types of data. Data is the numerical fact or categorical information that is collected through research or experimentation. Two types of data can be studied. Qualitative data can be seen as data that looks like categories, while, qualitative, while quantitative data looks like numbers. Some quick examples of qualitative data are the gender of babies born. These fall into one of two categories, male or female. These are non-numeric, and so these are qualitative. Types of crown is another example. These can be full crowns or onlay, ceramic or gold. There can be multiple levels of descriptions that categorize these qualitative data. An example of quantitative data would be the height or weight of patients. These are numeric values. Another example would be the hourly wage earned by registered nurse. So now we've covered some basic vocabulary for statistics. We should be ready to move on to study some descriptive statistics. We will focus on examining quantitative data from samples and bring our attention to finding measures of center and of variation.